you are looking for more magic in your life, if you have the sense that there is more to life than meets the eye, then this podcast is for you. Welcome to my weekly podcast, Soul Ventures. Episode 11, How to Build a Butterfly. If you are going through a particularly sticky situation at the moment and can't see the woods for the trees, I have something that will help you today. And this week, I have another story for you. And all in the time it takes for you to breathe, reboot and have a cup of tea. Once you start exploring with me, you will reconnect with the true essence of you. That what makes you, you. And you will realise that wherever you are on this round, beautiful planet, all the roads lead you home. So let's enjoy the ride. Part one, transformation is a process. Last weekend, several marathons were held in various cities across the world. Tens of thousands of brave runners endured the long slog to the finish line. I used to watch the highlights of the London Marathon on television with a cup of tea and a biscuit or two. And as I watched the faces of the jubilant runners at the end, I would think, mm, yeah, I probably could run the marathon next year. However, the reality is that unless I put in the hours of training in the months before and actually get at my running shoes, it's unlikely to happen. Transforming into a marathon runner or into anything else you can think of there's a process. It doesn't happen instantly, and it usually requires us to take action of some kind. If you were to think of something that symbolises transformation, I'm willing to bet that you're probably picturing a butterfly. From caterpillar to chrysalis to beautiful butterfly, these animals have long been symbols of the process of transformation. So if you are in a sticky situation at the moment, I would like to share this story with you. Part 2. How to build butterfly. A little caterpillar was happily munching a juicy green leaf when a red admiral butterfly fluttered down beside him. Good morning, said the caterpillar. Morning replied the butterfly. Oh, you don't mind if I just sit here a while and bask in the sunshine, do you? My wings are quite tired. I've flown here from the other side of the field. Not at all, replied the caterpillar. You must be exhausted. If I want to travel anywhere, all I need to do is crawl. No one's looking for me. I have everything I need right here. Ah, uh, yes, one day you will soon have fine wings and be able to fly like me, said the butterfly. No, thank you. I'm quite content where I am, said the caterpillar. The butterfly gave the caterpillar a wink and fluttered away. One day, the caterpillar felt a bit strange. He was much hungrier than usual. Nothing seemed to satisfy him anymore. He found that he wanted to do certain things, but was unable to do so. It all became too much. He wanted to retreat from the wild a little bit and take some time alone. And so he did. He built a chrysalis around himself. For a long time, he was surrounded by darkness. He couldn't see or hear anything. Everything was silent. Gradually, all his caterpillary parts dissolved. But he didn't miss them. He didn't really need them safely inside his chrysalis. 
he realised that he didn't really need to worry about this whole process because all of the enzymes he needed to help him with the process were already available to him. The process was messy. There was a lot of goo. For a long time, it didn't seem as though anything was happening and everything was still dark and silent. And then one day, he saw a chink of light through a small hole in his chrysalis. He stretched and wriggled. Everything felt strange and new to him. In order to emerge from the chrysalis, he had to learn to use his new body. Nobody else showed him how to do it. He just had to go through the process. It was exhausting and he came very close to giving up at times. Eventually, he emerged from the chrysalis. He looked at his new body and didn't recognise what he saw. His little legs had transformed into delicate butterfly legs. His soft, velvety body was now slender and elongated. And now he had wings. He tried to spread them out to admire them, but he was too weak. So for a while, he rested and got used to his new way of being. And then, when he felt stronger, he spread his wings and leaped into the air. Part three, building your own butterfly. Things don't just happen immediately, despite what we may think of when we hear stories of a poem overnight success. During the process, it might feel that everything is dissolving around us and that we're wading in goo. Inside the chrysalis, the caterpillar metamorphosizes and releases enzymes that dissolve its body. Within these enzymes are all the genetic material required to build the butterfly. Butterflies aren't born. Caterpillars don't fly. But at every stage along the process, they're doing exactly what they need to do in perfect timing. A few weeks ago, I planted some courgette seeds. For a while, nothing visible above the surface happened. All the magic was taking place under the soil. And now I have seven little fledgling courgette seedlings smiling at me as I type this. There is no sign that any courgettes will emerge from these little plants yet, but I am confident that they will appear when they are ready. We are all building our own butterflies. By recognising that this is a process and that we are all at various stages, maybe we can be a little bit easier on ourselves and others. The goo already contains everything we need to transform. Building a butterfly takes time. So don't be impatient. Trust that you have everything you need right now to help you. My intention over the course of these episodes is to help get you back on track so that you can enjoy the rest of your journey here on Earth. In the next episode, I'll be talking more about the magic of words. Until then, happy travelling. If you enjoyed this episode, you're very welcome to subscribe to my podcast. If you know somebody else who might be interested in it, feel free to share it with them. To find out more, visit my website at www.iamjennywilson.com. Here you can find details of how you can download my free PDF ebook, The Hidden Language of Colour. Go to iamjennywilson.com and follow the free stuff link. 
You can also find out details of my books from my website. The books are available from whichever version of Amazon is local to you. Or you can follow me on Instagram at I am Jenny Wilson. Let's reconnect next time and explore more of the universal language of the soul. In the meantime, keep expanding and enjoy the journey.